I got that phone call from our doctor. Um, we had narrowed it down to a handful of different diagnoses um, that it could be. And she called and she said, I have kind of good news. We we figured out what it is, what it was. And I had that moment, I was standing in the kitchen, just kind of put my hand on the counter and I just thought, just not mitochondrial disease, not Pearson's. And she said, it's Pearson's. Even though she looked pretty functional, she wasn't. Um, and it took us six months to get a diagnosis, which was probably the worst six months of it. Um, and then from there, it was the doctor's appointments and you know the rush of let's establish baselines to see how fast she'll decline. And as a parent, you don't prepare for that. You don't, you know, you don't. You think you're going to shine at a PTA meeting, not you know fighting for your kid's life. I think my mom's answer would be that she would never feel fear or be scared and that us being there with her with every step that that would be enough uh, to keep her happy. I think that would because that's the only time I see her in pain is when she's scared and that that hurts as a mom to see your kid go through that and I think if I could wish anything away or wish anything to take that pain away from her if I can't take anything else take the fear and you know to see your kids be scared.